And new tonight, city council could green light construction of the third tallest building in Virginia Beach next week. Well, we're not talking about new development at the ocean front. This is planned for a residential community on Shore Drive. Penny, your side's Brett Hall tells us that's why some oppose this and hope they can come to a compromise instead. The land that for decades has been home to the Linhaven Fish House and the Casa del Playa condos could soon be home to a new 22-story tall senior living facility and seven-story tall assisted living facility that Westminster Canterbury CEO Ben Uncle says to date. This will be the biggest development project in Virginia Beach history, north of $250 million. But its size is the main reason Todd Solomon says he and many of his neighbors don't want to see it happen. I don't understand how that could even be considered neighborhood feel. As president of the Shore Drive Community Coalition, he says there are concerns this will obstruct longtime residents' views, negatively change the skyline, and possibly set a precedent for other developers. I don't even know what it would look like with 22, 20-story towers so dense along this area would just be ridiculous. Knowing that Westminster Canterbury would likely not just back away, Solomon says he feels the community would be willing to compromise. Their current high-rises, built in the late 90s, top out at 14 floors. I think that would actually fit more with what we're saying. And 10 on your side took that proposition to Uncle. Sure, we could build it smaller. And there's plenty of market in Westminster Canterbury will be fine if it's smaller. However, he feels long-term they could run into problems, like caring for the increasing number of seniors looking for their services. Between um, 800 and 1,000 future seniors if we cut out those eight floors to reduce it the same. He says 14 stories wouldn't change the view situation at all, either as the building would have to be wider. Finally, Uncle says there aren't many nonprofits doing this work, building housing, some of which would be subsidized. We need more housing and more affordable housing, and this w denying this would hurt both. Of course, that brings about a whole other interesting part of this project, too. Three council members have recused themselves, citing potential conflicts of interest. That means eight council members will make the ultimate decision on if this goes forward. To find out why that is, log on shortly to wavy.com. Brett Hall, 10 on your side.